Even as the thermometer drops, we crank up the heat, but sometimes that can put you at risk for a house fire. WNCT's Elizabeth Two has more on the risks and what you need to know to stay safe. You probably don't want to see one of these guys show up to your house this winter, but the chances go up as the mercury drops. So how do you keep your family safe? Warming your home automatically puts you at risk. Make sure your HVAC units have clean filters to prevent a fire caused by dust and debris. You can also use other tricks to keep heat from escaping your home, like... Just putting plastic up over windows. A lost heat means higher light bills. Uh, your windows could also be an escape route in the event of a fire, so that's something you might want to be real careful about. And of course, there are other portable heating devices. We want to take them extra precaution during with heating of their homes and how they use those heating devices, especially electrical uh, uh, heaters, space heaters, or even the kerosene heaters. Portable heaters cause 70 deaths each year from accidental fires. To use them safely, avoid placing them any closer than 36 inches to combustible materials like couches, curtains, or beds. They can can ignite at temps close to 400 degrees and most kerosene heaters put off much higher temperatures. Never refuel a kerosene heating device indoors and make sure it's cooled down before you do. And when it comes to fireplaces. When loading a fireplace, first of all, don't overload it. Be sure that you have a spark arrestor, which is a screen or the glass doors that uh, cover the front of the fireplace. And of course, check your smoke detectors. Fire officials say installing carbon monoxide detectors, one of the best things you can do to protect yourself and your loved ones this winter. In Onslow County, Elizabeth 2, 9 on your side. If you need to use a generator this weekend, always use it outdoors and keep it away from windows and doors. Don't run it inside a garage, even if the door is open.